On top of Alfama's Hill, overseeing the mouth of the Tagus River as it meets the Atlantic Ocean, lies the oldest church in the capital of Portugal, a set de Lisboa. One of the most eclectic in the world, the Cathedral of St. Mary Major has survived several earthquakes and undergone several restorations and renovations, combining elements from Romanesque, Gothic, Baroque, Neoclassical and Rococo styles. Before the original building was completed in 1147, per order of King Alfonso Enriquez, this particular area had for long centuries witnessed the passing of different civilizations, from the Iron Age and the Roman time to the Visigoths and Islamic period, as the archaeological study of the cloister suggests. Indeed, some theories indicate that the remnants from this last period could belong to a mosque that once stood where the cathedral is. It seems like whether Muslim or Christian, this sacred location has for millennia been chosen as a place for worship, proof of the importance of religion for the resident citizens of the Lusitanian capital. Indeed, the cathedral has become one of the main attractions in the city, opening its door both to liturgical celebrations and church visits. The high choir of the cathedral will provide you with one of its most impressive views, the entire central nave seen from above under the watchful eye of one of the icons of the building, its incredible rose window that ornaments the Romanesque facade. The transept retained its original vault with the addition of archways and two stained glass windows from the 20th century representing the patrons of Lisbon, San Vicente and Santo Antonio. Over the present-day altar, an octagonal dome rises, adapted from the belfry destroyed by the earthquake of 1755. The current chancel of Baroque style was also conceived after the earthquake. The deambulatory gives access to nine radiant chapels, all built in Gothic style. This section transformed the cathedral into a pilgrimage church around the devotion to the relics of San Vicente. Worth mentioning are also the chapel of Bartolomeo Joans, with an impressive set of Renaissance paintings, and the baptistry, where numerous illustrious Portuguese personalities were baptized, among them Father Antonio Vieira and Santo Antonio. From the high choir to the baptistry, it is worth discovering every corner of this building of undeniable religious and spiritual value. Protecting religious sites like this one is not only important for their incalculable historic and artistic value, but also for the service they offer their parishioners. From Lisbon's Cathedral, I encourage you to join the UNEOC call to action and stand for safe worship by submitting your own story through the campaign's website on forsafeworship.org. The best videos will be featured on their website, news stories, social media and other platforms.